Hey friends, welcome. Uh, today we are going to discuss partition function and when we were deriving Boltzmann distribution law, uh, the final equation would was and that was ni upon n is equal to we have gi e raised to minus beta ai upon summation gi e raised to minus beta ai. So this was our final equation for a Maxwell Boltzmann distribution and over here uh, gi is the degeneracy of the energy level energy states that I have already explained in Fermi Dirac statistics as well as in Bose Einstein statistics whose links you can find in the description. Beta is the constant and EA are the energy levels. So over here in this the lower term that is this term. So this term is known as partition function and this partition function was given by a scientist called Fowler. So Fowler he gave this partition function and generally partition function it is represented by either say q or it may be as a big uh, capital q or it may be represented by small q or in many books it is represented by f so partition function q i will use the term q so q is equal to we can write summation gi e raised to minus beta ei so this term there is summation gi e raised to minus beta ei is called the partition function and uh, this partition function it gives the summation of the energy states over all available states and it is known as partition function now this partition function is a dimensionless quantity and it depends on the molecular weight as well as uh, molecular volume temperature and several other functions and partition function can be represented in the form of uh, several thermodynamic probability uh, thermodynamic functions like internal energy entropy work function pressure free energy as well as heat capacity so these are some of the thermodynamic functions uh, with the help of which or uh, which can be expressed in terms of partition function and the detailed derivation of all those partition functions or all those properties in terms of partition functions uh, we are going to discuss in the future lectures quantitatively speaking the partition function it tells us how several particles are distributed among various energy levels and it is measure of available energy level so with the help of this particular term we can find out how several particles say suppose we are having n number of particles in a system so those n number of particles how those n number of particles are distributed among several energy energy levels can be uh, obtained or can be quantitatively found out using partition function and the partition function it also provides the link between the microscopic properties of individual molecules and the macroscopic proper uh, microscopic properties of system so this partition function it also provides a link between the microscopic properties of individual as we have already discussed microscopic properties of individual particles and the macroscopic properties of whole system and the particle function can be defined as it is the sum of probability factors of various energy levels so the partition function is sum of the probability factors of different energy levels as we all know that if we are considering several number of particles then the particles they perform different types of motion we see individual particles then they are moving in a zigzag manner that is the translation motion then uh, for when you are studying IR or you might have studied the vibration motion then we have any diatomic molecule then this diatomic molecule can rotate around its axis so it will show rotational motion and electronic motion uh, due to uh, several electronic factors so the energy associated with or the total energy will be the sum of all this type of uh, the energy factors and hence we can write okay, suppose if we write the total energy e so this total energy e will be due to the energy due to the translation motion energy due to the vibration motion energy due to the rotation motion plus energy due to the electronic factors and the sum of all this will give us the total energy e and the value of the statistical weight factor gi the value of statistical weight factor 
gi it is given by we can say uh, for uh, translation we can write gt for vibrational we can write gv into for trans uh, for rotational we can write gr and for electronic we can write ge so when we substitute both these values in this equation we can write q is equal to we will have gt into gv into gr into ge and that will be equal to summation of uh, we can write e raised to minus beta et plus ev plus er plus e e and we can individually separate all those and we can write summation gt e raised to minus beta et into gv summation gv e e raised to minus beta ev into summation gr e raised to minus beta er into ge summation e raised to minus beta e e and hence this i can write it as qt into q v into q r into q e so that is our translation partition function vibrational partition function rotational partition function and electronic partition function so if any molecule is showing translation motion then the energy associated with that molecule will be translation energy and that partition function will be our translation partition function similarly if the energy associated or let me take an example that suppose we are considering a, a monoatomic molecule or so the monoatomic molecule this molecule will only show translation energy as well as it will show electronic energy so the partition function will be only or the partition function or the energy levels will be only due to the translation motion and the electronic vibration and rotation won't be shown and hence the net partition function will be due to only translation and electronic okay so in this way what type of motion or what type of energy is associated with that particle that type of partition function will come into picture so individually in detail we are going to see to what is the value of translation partition function what is the value of vibration partition function what is the value of rotational partition function as well as what is the value of the electronic partition function hope the part partition functions are clear thank you very much